This is Brian McLaughlin with LearnToGrapple.com and today we're going to be looking at our near side arm bar from Side Control. So beginning with normal head and arm control. What really makes this move effective is that whenever I'm in side control and I'm going to attack with an armbar, people are expecting this arm. And I'm going to use that to my advantage. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come out from around his head and double up my grip on this arm, pulling his elbow away. Then I'm going to lean my weight, kind of almost pushing on my head, towards his hip. So he's really, all his attention is right here. He's not thinking about this arm. What I want to do now is circle my foot around, kick off to my hand. I'm curling it very similar to how I would with the SM. I grab my shin here. At this point, I don't care about this arm. I'm fully committed to the near side arm. I bring my weight forward, I turn and kick my leg over. Now I come back and I finish. I actually like to cross my ankles on this one. Whether you cross with this ankle on top or that ankle on top, I'm not too concerned with. The reason I like to do this is the most common Escape that I'm concerned about is what we call the rollout or the hitchhiker. If I have my legs open and he's able to punch across, he can roll out. However, if I have my ankles crossed, it makes it much more difficult for him. Not impossible, but it gives him another barrier that's probably going to shut him down and allow me to get the submission. Important also, have your partner turn their face this way when you're drilling it. That way when you're sitting on them, they're not in agony. Common mistakes I see with this move. The first is with their initial setup. You have to make sure that your hip is underneath this tricep. A lot of people will begin and will have their hips too far back, the elbows down. If this occurs, just walk your hips down and slide them back up. But if I don't have my hip in position, I'm not going to get it. The next thing is that people will turn the partner on their side here. The problem with this is that it makes it very easy for him to hide this elbow. I want to keep him relatively flat throughout the duration of the move. Also, I'm not stepping over his head. I'm moving my foot in a circle around his head. This is going to allow me to keep him flat and stay tight with no extra space created. Then finally, throwing this leg over. I have to make sure that I don't step my body up. I'm not coming here and stepping up where he can pull his elbow out. I'm keeping my hip super low. I'm leaning like I would for an S-mount armbar. I'm kicking over. That's actually why I like to grab this shin also. It keeps my hips close. Closed and finished. One more time from the beginning. So that was our near side armbar from side control.